Hello everyone, this is Moby Gana Who here. We're walking to episode 7 of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine! And I'm not gonna lie, I can't even pull off this LP off. Well, well. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I've been kind of. Okay, what am I trying to say here? I, I haven't been really recording commentary for quite a while, actually, mainly because I was. Kind of weird folks, nothing here. I'm recording as of November 2020, which means the UK is currently back in lockdown. Uh, the new Tony Hawk Game Club remix, so I decided we play that a bit and basically other stuff. So, yeah, I, not gonna lie, I haven't even been procrastinating on calling commentary this let's play, so. Yeah, I, we don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm playing the Sandberg Echo Spy Bit Nash, so. Now we gotta see where that Sandbird is then. Uh, we got, we got slide down and slope, jump from here, jump in this broken building here. And here you go, here's the Sandbird itself. Well, really, it's just a bunch of floating sandboxes the size of a bird. It's eight red coins, a color cross here, and uh, I'm dead already. Can I see that as a common thing? Because there's also blue coins in the sandbird course as well, so you gotta. So when you got those blue coins, well, what we'll I say is prepare to die an awful lot. Because once you jump with the sandbird, the sandbird does not wait for you at all. So yeah, that's all the blue coins I can get, so... Yeah, if you, this is your first time, you're gonna die here a lot. As, again, the Sampo does not wait for you. At all. In fact, getting all the red coins isn't that bad. Let's just try and get those blue coins so I can go screw itself. I'm not gonna lie, I can't... I hate the Sampo. I mean, I just feel like the Sampo just won't be dead! Oh, okay, yeah, because crap like that can happen. Ugh. Just jump in before you get the blue coins, take it. Next moment, you can just end up falling to your death. Alright, that's all seven red coins. I want to say the last one is at, at the end of the Sandburst course. So, by this point, it'll start to flip on its side here, so you're not prepared for that. Well, instant death, do it all over again. Okay, and I'm thinking why it's gonna turn back at side. Yep, there we go. Eesh. Yeah, it's just gonna fly all the way to that pill up there. So, come on, Mr. Birdie. Alright, here's another blue coin, which I heavily got without dying, so that's that's nice. That was an awkward old. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Super Mario Sunshine is definitely a pretty janky game. Yeah, here's the last red coin over here. And there you go, there's our shine splite. Want a splite? Oh. And it wins a two or two, hurdy three shines. Okay. Distract me. Um, so yeah, now it's on off onto the next shine in Gelato Beach. I want to say the next one, the red is the red. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is I am repeating myself all over again. It's the red coins. Red the coins. Oh no, not yet. We got Eo Pitismo Sand Sprint. Oh, it's it's Eo Pitismo. Yeah, it's Il Petismo, not I, because screw that font. Now, who the hell is Il Petismo? Well, it's this guy. I'm Il Petismo, and well, she wastes the flag. So, you basically Sunshine's equivalent of Cooper the Quick. Alright, alright then. Hopefully, you're faster than him. <laughs> it's a waste of the finish flag. Alright, wow, you can drive. I'm ready to cope with it. It's 35 seconds. I had a ready, and go. 
Alright, so yeah, Il Pitissimo is basically just Sunshine's equivalent to Cupid of Quick, really. So, of course, just be quick, be good with the controls and moving, and should we, we should be no problem. He's, he's honestly absolutely joking, you know, where to, where to go and how to play the game. Go left! Thank you, Mrs. Pianta. Yeah, yeah, don't bunk in the walls of children. Especially children, do not bunk into children without cry and scream and kick you in the balls. What? Right, there we go, we're five seconds left to spare. Phew, you're pretty good, you have to speed, you've gone ever so slightly, my esteem slightly. We'll meet again, and goodbye. Oh, I see you, little narcissistic narcissist of yourself. And I've seen you before in like a Zelda game. Now it's me, I don't know. I don't know, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, I don't know. I don't know, we got 34 shines now, I believe we only got... I want to say there's only 3 more shines left in Gelato Beach, you know. Not carrying the 100 coins, star, and the uh, blue coins. Alright. Yeah, this one's thinking of red coins and the coral leaf. So there's 8 red coins, well, around that. Cool. Now that weave there. I'm not sure that's how they talk. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, so we got Swing over to that rock formation there. Next to the uh, bar. The refreshments. But I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna speed this up because. Because some of these red coins kind of move on the fish, and some of these blue co red coins, some of them often like to clip through the level geometry for some reason. And I fucking hate that. So, yeah, so they're trying to wait for you and they're clipping through the walk, so I, yeah, I hate this shine. Come on, there we go. Yeah, just go right through the walks, that's fair. I, yeah, this shine can suck. I'm not gonna lie. All right, two more. There's one. Stop one. Well, swimming away from me. I mean, there's a fish that wants to eat you, but they can at least out swimming. So, all right, where's that last red coin? Where's the hiding? Hello. Alright, oh, there you are. Yeah, I can see it now. Of course, don't drown, but I think that's pretty self explanatory. There they go, another shine is mine. Okay. Can't be awkward again, here we go. Another shine is ours. Sorry about that guys, just had to move move something. There we go. Yeah, sorry for the noise. <laughs> See my agrees. Alright, now let's just now let's get Bowser Jr. again. Again, every seventh episode every seventh shine in in the level is always just always shut my one, so let's go in Get the little scamp. Copy yo. Hmm. Junior. Yeah, he can basically do all the Shadow Mike can basically do all the features you can he can he can wall jump, he can dribble jump, he can dive. Oh my god, this is not the white There we go. Where are you going? Oh, you're there. Oh yeah, he can spin jump too. Oh, what's it you're chasing now? Speed one, but yeah, that's no way in which riddle. Oh, there we go. Now you say no, but yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll take it down easy, Bowser Jr. It's just like you dumb father. 
gonna go shy number 36. 36. That's the last one. Alright, time for the ape sh Time for the final shine in Gelato Beach. And this one is definitely one of the most infamous shines in basically the whole game, really. Yeah, you know, I'm talking about the Watermelon Festival. Oh, joy. Alright, so, what's going on about? I'm one best now. Oh, burn! Why must I stand here? I don't know. So, yeah, there's a Waterman Festival going on. Uh, I've got this weird orange scooter I can't clean off. Yes, yeah, got these huge watermelons here. And basically, the objective for this shine is is basically get the biggest ball of end you can find in the level, bring it to that. Refreshment by kind of spot four, and that's how you get the shine. The only problem is the physics of these watermans suck, are absolutely jack tall hell. You heard the, you heard the stories. You you read about it in the let's plays and reviews. You seen it Joe Common let's play. You seen it in the Sun Common Johnny in. With you. Yeah, this Waterman, specifically, is the one they want. Most people usually try to wall it to the Y, but firstly, try wall it to the left ledge here, and of course, make sure the lower guy that doesn't pop. Because it. Because if you want to do anything too hard, yes, it can easily pop. And make sure the lower guy doesn't. Then kind of wants to cry, or else to flare right wide up and it'll merely pop. Work so. And once if I get to it, now you gotta make sure it doesn't fall in the bloody water. And make sure you slowly bring this to the thing here. Whoa, now that's a big old woman like I've never seen. I don't need to get someone to cover this one, you win. Ugh. Now, you don't want to do all that, there's a, a glitch in the game where you can sort of do like a through here and clip through the roof to get to the shining that's actually hiding behind that glass tube in the middle. I don't know how to do it, but it's an option. But yeah. Screw you. But yeah. Yes, I definitely agree with everyone. At least if when you're fir it's your first time playing the shine, this. Watermelon, Brandon can go fuck itself. Its fist is absolutely crap to hell. It often just teleports to random places you don't want to go. Go, just basically wall goes wherever it feels like it. That character's anywhere that wants to just destroy all the damn times. Just not, no, fine at all. What way the what was intended thing on the sign like God awful shine? But I'll say you should try warn it from the to try warn it to the other side instead of you know off to the cliffs where you usually do. It really is that shine really honestly isn't that hard as long as you walk to your side and keep it as close to the edge of the beach as you can, away from those crab cracks, but not into the water. Really, it should be, and they should. Also, make sure to spray the Kralik Rags when I try to attack the Warman. It should be fine, so... Honestly, you know what you're doing with the Warman Festival? It's honestly not that bad, but yeah, honestly... That shine sucks. It sucks. It's, it's, it's one of the most infinite shines in the entire game. It's just... Awful, like you are, mister. So, yeah. I can never see where people come from. So anyways, I don't know what I was doing with that, but... Anyways, now we're done with the Gelato Beach for now. Let's see you in the grand return to Pinna Park here. Blah 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 Okay, and... Yeah, so once we get through Pinna Park here... 
Once we're done with Pinnacle Park, this is where most of the, the game will start to open up for us. But for now, let's take care of the shines in Pinnacle Park now, so. Hey. Alright, next up, the Beach Cannon Secret. Another. Another difficult platforming sec segment. Fine. Okay. Ooh. Nope. Oh, revival bombs. Oh, they look weird when you squirt them with water. It's like the ice turn green and they turn blue. I don't know what's going on then, but also you're gonna throw the bombs back to you. And pick up the bomb. And there you go. You should go down. Wow, he's dead. Ooh, we can now go inside. This is probably where the next secret course is. Secret source. And the secret source is mushrooms. Alright, uh... Okay, we've got disappearing blocks now. Okay. I don't think it should be that bad. Just gotta be very careful. Once a block starts getting darker, that's why you need to move and get to the next button before you fall to your death. Alright, uh, oh. I don't like... That locks my jumping movement. Alright, uh... Yeah, down there, it's just a bunch of enemies, so it's not worth going down there, like... Right. And go! Die for maximum speed! There we go. So yeah, this is honestly one more easier plot for things I want to say. I can't really say start with this at first, but hey, I don't, I don't know. Alright, there's a one if you wish to get it, but well, you might just keep moving. Okay. And there you go, another shiny sprite is mine. Yeah, and of course we now need to go back here for, for the red coins next, so. Get shine, save my game. Get kicked back to the Defeat Plaza, because god damn it. This ain't Super Odyssey yet. So, yeah, so, we beat more of the same crap out over again. Take out this mole again. Here we go. We enter the course. Hit this red nipple. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this is a bit more difficult. You, can, you gotta get red claws while worrying about the dis disappearing blocks, so. I think he got flooding you, so. If Shadow does a bit, but you can easily just hover to your next concrete block or wait until they reappear, so. Yeah. Ah, uh, reappear. Thank you. Alright, that's six. I think the last two should be at the end of the course. There we go. Jump up here again. Oh. I hate when you jump on a trampoline, you kind of get locked into a certain direction. I hate that. Come on. Oh, crap. I don't have much time left. Come on. Bring back the. Thank you. Two. One. Ugh. Oh. That's why I was way too close. Sheesh. Alright, get the shine before I die. Thank you. Okay, next time let's play some uh, sunshine. Which I'll be doing two more in Pinner Park. So it's working a who? And I'll see you next time. Later, people.